What's poppin' everybody? As you can see, okay, wait, hold on. No, damn, I'm fucking up already. Hey, <laughs> what is happening? I got a bit, a bit carried away playing Breath of the Wild on my own. I know I said at one point that I wouldn't try to stream this game, but I figured, you know what? You know what? Why not? Why not at least try it one time to see how I'm how I'm doing. So this could be, if it turns out to be awful and I get frame drops, like, like if I'm getting 15 FPS, yeah, I'm turning the stream off and just doing a recording, but it is surprising the amount of shit you do in this game without advancing the story. I, there is a point we're going to get to um, in the Zora's Domain where I just sort of, um, I reset because I initiated a cutscene and I'm like, no, okay, I want to get this on camera. But as far as what I've done, I've just been wandering. Your boy's been wandering. Of course, it is exactly my style to have this big-ass fucking mace. Or whatever this is. Hammer. That's more like a mace. Although, like, all my shit's about to break, actually. I think even my bow is, uh, is about to break as well. But we got hella weapons. We are fucking stacked. We got hella gear now. Oh, well, not really. I was surprised at, like, the scarcity of particular, like, clothing items. Uh, I had to go to a village to buy all this shit. Got hella rupees. Um, it, like, the thing with this game that I've figured out so far is that it's not... It's more challenging than a lot of Zelda games. I feel like this is on par with, like, the N64 games in terms of di difficulty. But for some reason in this game, like, everything just feels so satisfying to do. I don't know. I haven't felt that way about a game in, in quite a while, but we're looking kind of gangster out here. Uh, so I had to buy all this equipment. I upgraded it at a uh, one of those uh, the great fairies, looking kind of thick, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, my bow's about to fucking break. So I think I I could explore some more since this is gonna be like a chill stream. I'm not it's not gonna be super focused. We will do some wandering around, but I think I want to at least go back to the Zora's domain, which is interesting. Like interestingly enough. Besides Central Hyrule, which is where we were at last time, this was the first place I really discovered before converging out. And I think I'll just check the stream and see uh, see how it looks over there. Mm, yeah, the frame drops are getting ooh, get kind of real. Well, like 28, 29. That's nah, not so bad. It's when we actually start seeing some combat and action, or whenever I'm on my horse, that's gonna be when it's kind of kind of scary. Like even just running drops my frames by about like three. Now, if only I could. I mean, like, even just running drops. <laughs> My volume was all the way up. Sorry if you guys saw that. Just collect all of this shit. Okay, yeah, the stream looks okay. I probably shouldn't have wasted durability on that because... Oh my god, why do I have this out? I did not... I guess I switched on accident. Yeah, I do not want to spend that, that durability. Because in this game, I've gotten more used to the durability system. But it's still one of those things where... I'm like, yeah, I do not want to waste durability on certain weapons. Especially not this one. But it was a hell of a lot of trouble to get. And also, of course, I've set it to where uh, on OBS, at the same time I'm streaming, I'm also recording. So that way, even if I get a shitty stream, I will not lose out on much. Oh yeah, and because I'm a fucking weeaboo, I, I switched the, uh, the language to Japanese. 
Ah, yeah, I've heard about this dude. There were some memes about this dude when this game came out. Damn, the Zora King's huge as hell, but that's how he was in uh, Ocarina of Time, too. So I guess it's a callback to that. King Dora fan. Ah, yeah, we got the God Pad. Everyone, like, recognized me. Like, everyone... Oh, shit, wait, no. I... Whenever I click the mouse, because that's how I do, like, the gyro thing with the... People who play the game know what I'm talking about. Like, I've been doing some shrines, obviously. I have more stamina, more health. Uh, I lost my memory. So, in some of the shrines, you need the game pads, like, motion control shit. And I just use the mouse to emulate that. Oh, right, so this is the thing um, about the Zora Domain. So, I forgot this aspect of the story, but I have heard of it. So, apparently, like, five of the Guardians that followed you 100 years ago, they all fucking died because of you, apparently. So, this dude's old as hell. Well, I think all the Zoras are, because, like, there's a bunch of them who recognize you from 100 years ago. So, I guess the Zora is just... Live long naturally. Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. So it's gonna be, I guess, the first dungeon. Yeah, I haven't actually done a whole lot of that. I've been doing some shrines and just kind of exploring. Champion through and through. Another thing I might do. Um, they abuse the power of an ancient civilization and turn higher into what it is today. I might try to go into Hyrule Castle right now because, I mean, that is possible. Not necessarily to try and beat it, but... Um, yeah, no, because it's not even like Calamity Ganon, that's the problem. It's that if you don't beat the dungeons, then you have to face like all four of the dungeon bosses back to back uh, right before him. So it would just be to get gear and get the fuck out. And there's some like side quest that has you uh, exploring Hyrule Castle to get gear off of it. Oh, shit. Yeah, so that's just gonna flood the entire area. This cutscene is running a lot better than than I expected. Ah, Zelda's talking to us again. That was taken over by Ganon. Alright.
right, I think she's dead too. They require electricity to work. Oh. Ah, oh, shit, so I need shock arrows? I have those, but I only have like 10 of them. <laughs> I love this guy. That's the, that's the image they always use as a meme. God damn it. We need to use shock arrows to get... I don't suppose they sell them. I mean, how many orbs... What are we talking about here? Because I'm pretty sure I, all, I have like less than 10. Shit, I used a lot of them in one of the shrines, one of the tests of power. Zora armor. Hey! Okay. So that's another piece of clothing. I mean, it's a downgrade to what I have, but it's obviously going to be useful. Man, shut your old ass up. Fucking raisin looking ass. Look at those fucking lips. Look at his lips. <laughs> Head looking like a frisbee. Mm. But what should we do now? I task moves with finding the shock arrows, yep. I mean I already have shock arrows, I'm just exploring. So Okay, so I guess the... I didn't think this would be the type of game to be like, okay, well, unless you have shock arrows from, like, already prior, then you're not going to be able to progress. Although that is kind of like how some of the shrines work. But this is, like, main story stuff. Like, I know one of the shrines you cannot progress. It's unless you have fire arrows. And I didn't have them at the time, but now I do. Main quest, reach Zora's domain. How many fire, I mean, shock arrows do I have? I only have two, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find more. Yeah, that's not good. To find out where to get them, okay. I don't even remember how I got these shock arrows. Did I buy them? Fuck, I seriously don't remember. Oh, yeah, I got them from uh, Lino. Yeah, I beat one of those. She was a pain in the ass, but I I killed it and it gave me like 10 shock arrows. So he said to find uh, that old ass dude, the Zora, down here somewhere. I wasn't paying too much attention, or if he said, like, if he's at the very bottom. Wait, hold up, what? He's got a shock arrow. If it hurts, stop touching it, what the hell? <laughs> the boy's stupid as fuck. Demon Sergeant. Are you kidding me? He's not really gonna fight me, right? Just go ahead and hand over that, uh, that arrow you got there. <laughs> I just jacked it from him. Alright, so I got one. Well, I have three, but it's not gonna be fucking enough. There's no way. Okay, there they are. That wasn't hard to- Wait, hey! Ah, oh, fuck. No. I'm about to fall, wait! Uh, okay, I think I can get back up. Oh no, because it's raining! Fuck! Yeah. Oh shit, I, I forget, that's how swimming works in this game, you gotta have stamina, but... I saw a chest down there, I might try to get that later.
So yeah, I have a fuck ton of stamina because that's what I've been investing all my... I'm, I'm pretty much going to do a thing where it's going to be like a 2 to 1 ratio. How much I invest in stamina and how much I invest in health. Because I feel like the armor... The armors do have like armor ratings like a traditional RPG. So right now I have 13 armor rating. I guess I may as well put this on. So um, I feel like that will make up for the health. And I think I'm good enough to where I'm not getting hit too often. Because even... With a one heart difference, I'm getting one shot by a lot of the higher tier monsters anyway. So stamina is just more important to me. And a lot of the food and like the resting and inns gives you more hearts temporarily. So that makes up for it. I think I've talked enough though. Man, you shut your ass up. Had feelings for her, hello? <laughs> if she breathes, she's a thought. Okay, she was a kid. Okay, alright. All right. Let me just see how the stream looks. Make sure my dimensions are okay. Yeah, okay. Because I had to edit that. Otherwise, uh, you would get like black bars on the sides and at the bottom. And it was just kind of like it didn't really even have like a widescreen kind of look. It was just awkward. Oh. So wait, don't tell me. No, she couldn't have been like a. She couldn't have been a kid when she died. Although. Considering how long Zora's lived, as we see here, maybe she was kind of young. Oh, right, the memories. This is actually the first one we're getting. Yeah, I, I knew about this as well, but just not in specific terms. Not explicitly, per se, but I saw that like in the, the same menu as the inventory and stuff. <laughs> Okay, a healer. Interesting. See, I feel like if it's in a different language, you can't really tell as much if it's actually mediocre voice acting or not. So that's why I changed it. As well as just the game being from Japan, obviously. Something pretty powerful indeed. Okay, the, I'm checking the stream on my phone like at the same time. Um Lag isn't too bad, like in terms of between what's actually happening and what gets streamed. It's like a second. It's okay. Alright, she's dead. <laughs> she was definitely catching feelings. And I also want to check my, my volume levels, hold on. So if you hear, like, the stream in the background for a second, that's why. Oh? I also want to check my... Alright, so we're, we're okay. Do I have proof? Do so and I shall tell you how to get the shock arrows. I mean, like... I could probably just go find a... Oh, right, because I think, um... Was it... I'm trying to remember what I've done off-screen. Specifically, if... 
specifically if the Blood Moon happened after I already beat that Lionel, because if it did, I could just go back and beat it again and get the Shock Arrows. But something tells me that I, I still have to do this thing to progress. What in the, that is the Zoro armor from before. And yet it fits you perfectly. Oh. Okay, I guess that's all it took. You've always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity, but racist as hell. Hey. Tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. I think the the Lizolfos also use shock arrows, but they never drop them. Because I beat a bunch of them with the shock arrows, and they don't. I don't think they really drop them. The Lionels do, though. As many shock arrows as we need. That's a bold statement. We'll find Shattered Back Point. Yup, okay. That's... So it's the same method. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one can be fatal to Azura. Yeah, let's get it. So this is not new to me. Uh, <laughs> it's time to drop this man, this Lionel, on his fucking neck. At least 20 shock arrows. And that probably means I have to beat two of them because the one I beat only dropped 10. It's to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. Okay. Alright, so I can swim up waterfalls now because of the the armor. So he said it was uh Okay, easy enough. Mm, all right, nice. So it does mark it on your map. What the hell come back here? I actually want to go get that, uh... The chest that was down here. Okay. The bad thing now is that I'm gonna have to go all the way back up there. Or do I? Because he did say something about ascending waterfalls with the Zora armor. So can I do that with this one, for example? Or is it a, does it have to be that one specifically? Oh wait, hold on. Hey! Ah, nice! It doesn't even use up stamina. That's really convenient. Alright, good to know that. Alright, so I can just... What I'm thinking is I can just paraglide from here and try and climb this right here. Oh wait, I can't because of the rain, probably. Ah oh, shit, I'm about to... I almost died because... well, not died, but you know what I mean. I almost drowned again because I didn't have the stamina... I can probably... I can probably uh, swim upwards from there. I'm not sure, however, if I can actually make it from here, even with the stamina I have. So I'm gonna save just in case. Although the Zora armor does help you sw uh, swim faster, so I'm just gonna assume that I can make it, given that...
Uh, I'm kind of skeptical now. Oh, the current's against me. What a fucking dick. Mm, I'm probably not even gonna make it to that a little. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> barely. Shit, the current's against me. That's really whack. I don't think I can actually get there. If I can, though, that's. Yeah, okay, I don't... Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Maybe it's not the waterfall he was talking about. I mean, one way or, the, one way or another, as long as I can just get there, I'll be fine. Ah, the rain is so annoying. I think I'm going more or less the right the right way because I think there's a bridge coming up nearby. So he said I could paraglide over here as well. Yeah, I, can, I think I can do that. Nice. Just wanted to make sure I had normal arrows equipped. Hello, Abby Waller, and as and Pogo Dog One as well. Thanks for coming out. Ah, nice. I can see the marker on my mini map. Oh no, I think it's always there. It's just like in the distance. I thought it was. A, I thought that was because I was getting close, but I guess not. Oh wait, hold on. There's another waterfall here. That's not the same one, is it? No, it can't be. Yeah. I almost completely missed that. So I can just... Do the same thing as last time. Damn, this is a big-ass waterfall, damn! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Talk to a lake. Gonna save just in case. We got something dangerous up here. I can sense it. Oh, those offos already. Those things can be pretty dangerous if they gang up on you with, um, if they ambush you, particularly with the shock arrows. And it's starting to rain again. Hmm. Is there anything noteworthy here? I don't... I think I'm just gonna move on for now. Maybe I'll come back... Maybe, maybe I will come back on my own time. There they are. You motherfuckers. I think I might have like a stealth potion somewhere around here, but. Or stealth food, rather. I don't think I'm gonna waste it though. I will do this, however. Oh, that's a moblin. I thought that was a Lizalfo for a second. Oh no, okay, they're both. Well, now 
I can get this. I've got plenty of arrows, so no point in engaging him directly. Oh, shit. How did I not hit him? Man, okay, fuck that. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Aim? What happened? Well, I'm gonna take your shit anyway. Oh yeah, this is weak as hell. I guess I'll use this. Ooh, okay. Wait, what shields are... Okay, mine are way better. Never mind. Drop this shit. You have purchased DLC to get free armor and mask while it's valuable. Don't you still have to find them, though? If you can tell me where, that'd, that'd be great. I kind of considered that, but... Yeah, it's the, um... Let me see my adventure log. I think I... Isn't it this? All of this shit right here? Like, I read the journals in that one place already. But I, I haven't really put any effort into actually finding that armor. I guess just tell me or confirm if this is what you're talking about. If it's something else, I guess tell me as well. Okay, we're heading on the right track. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, uh, there it is. Get the horse stuff, alright. So that would be... Horse rumors, ancient horse rumors. Rumor has it there's a bridle that enhances a horse skill and a saddle that can summon your horse right to you. Oh shit, that's... That's really valuable. Apparently, Highland Stable has a copy of Super Rumor Mill EX. I'm gonna check that out. Ooh. I think I'll do that right after beating this Lionel and getting the, uh... In the shock arrows because I can just warp back to the Zora's domain, but I cannot get back here easily. You pay $20, get the stuff. <laughs> yeah, I totally did that. Yep, <laughs> we'll go with that. Shattered back point. Safety save, even though the auto save in this game is pretty good. I I just have a habit of doing saves. Ah fuck. Alright, it's another it's the same color of Lino. So I guess this has to be the the lowest ranked one, huh? Oh shit, did he notice me already? I know stealth doesn't really work too well against them. You know what, I'm gonna save here just so I don't waste... ...my food, if I end up dying anyway. Chili elixir, should I get some? Am I chili? No, not, just wet. This is the one, the sneaky rice balls. <sighs> Will that come in handy? I also want to... 
use my best equipment, obviously. Ah, do I want to use the Guardian Sword? We'll start out with the Knight's Claymore. That's still going to do good damage. Damn, then the rain is not helping with his lightning arrows. It's... Wait, what? Oh shit, they don't work in the rain. God damn it. Oh my god. Ah. Now you guys will really get to... There's a showcase of how bad I'm going to be at this. Mostly because uh, I'm not... I'm still in stealth mode. Hey! Right, right. I gotta... I want to get the flurries. It's all about timing. Mm. Come on. Alright, that wasn't it. Alright, nice. That's doing nothing, oh my goodness. You have no idea how fast I really am. Hey! Oh shit! <laughs> Yo! Get me the fuck out of here! I don't feel like I want to prolong this fight either. Is it worth using an even stronger weapon? Fuck. Damn it! I, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to, like, jump out of the way, even though that probably wouldn't have worked either. Fresh milk. Okay, that's only half a heart, though. I had something here that was... Oh, these are whole hearts. Nice. Yeah, okay, that's better. So I guess you can't flurry rush him while he's standing. Nice, 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 nice. Probably wasted that, but whatever. I can't... Okay, you cannot dodge that with a backflip. I, I need to learn that. Also, I should probably... I might as well use this. If that's helpful. God damn it! Ugh. I'm doing really badly. I almost feel like restarting because of all the resources I've used. We had something going there, and then he started moving again. <laughs> oh. How? Okay, I... That didn't hit me as hard though, so it... It does take into account, like, partial dodges. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a... Okay, yeah, he's gonna do his fireball shit. Do I have heat-resistant potions? Ah, nice! I didn't know you could do that. Get my shield out. Oh, fuck. Uh... I guess I may as well use it. This shield is holding up really well uh, as well. Ooh, come on. What you got, fam? Come at me. It's 
it's time. Alright, that's fine. I got I got shields for days. Hey! <laughs> I don't know. That uh, was probably a very inefficient use of resources, but I might restart anyway. I don't know. Actually, this took me way too long, so... So I may just keep going. Resources are pretty renewable in this game anyway. Nice. We'll leave it at that. I actually didn't use up too much in terms of actual weaponry. I mean, this is still intact. And these things are supposed to be actually kind of frail. Eh, well, I guess I'll take it. I just used up way too much food than I felt I needed to. Just by playing poorly. I guess I still have some elixirs and stuff and a bunch of stuff that I haven't cooked yet. Lionel Sword, nice. 10 shock arrows, Lino shield, I'll take that. We take those. I feel like that's a little bit better. But that only gives me 10 shock arrows, so am I gonna have to fight? <laughs> Fuck. Am I gonna. Am I gonna have to. Fight another one of those. Do banana and durian runs. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I guess I can look that up later. Are you talking about for the Lionel fight or just the game in general? I want to see what's at the very tippity top first and then. And then I'll do the horse stuff. I haven't forgotten about that. Oh, Dan sent me a message. Okay. What was that? Boy was flapping. Now, speaking of Dan, we're gonna do. Uh, we've got some plans for our draft league. We're gonna do. Me and him. We're going to do uh, roster ratings. Ah, nice. Okay, so there's. Even more shock arrows here. How much? That's 18. Is that enough, though? Jump at your own risk. Okay. Okay, so that leads you straight to... The Divine Beast. So if I only needed two more... The way... Okay, game in general. The way this game is designed... I get the sense that you should be able to get... All 20 of your shock arrows in one visit... Like, here's another one. So there's gotta be a few more lying around. You only need three hearts and max stamina. Yeah, I'm doing a really, like, uh, stamina heavy run. At the beginning of the stream, I said that I was doing, like, a 2 to 1 ratio of stamina and hearts. Maybe I'll do that for a future run, just three heart challenge. But I kind of do want to get the Master Sword, at least for the first time around playing this game. Which I believe that requires 13. 13 hearts. Not sure if that would count like temporary hearts. It probably doesn't. Uh... Divine Beast Varuta. I'll make a manual save here. Yeah, I get the sense you're supposed to jump off here and then do the thing with the Divine Beast, but eh, I guess we'll come back here later.
We'll start here because the trail is right there. Ah, oh, shit, wait, should I have gotten my... Should I have gotten a horse? Maybe. Because <sighs> walking across there, or running on foot's going to be kind of boring. But one thing that, I mean, I don't think that would have done any good in terms of time because you cannot fast travel with your horse, which kind of surprises me for this game because it's very liberal in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, quality of life features. There are some things in this game that are, like, yeah, this is very convenient and it doesn't really detract from the overall challenge. You can cash in your stamina rings for hearts to get 13 when you get 24 shines. Alright, I did not know that, so... You can devote yourself to stamina and still get the Master Sword. That's what it sounds like. When you get 24 shrines. Hmm, how many have I done? Because if I have... I've done at least 12. So I'm probably, I'm probably at like around 13. Because I believe I have one Spirit Orb right now. I have three, okay. So I have one more until I get my next stamina boost, probably. Wait, what do I have equipped? Okay, broadsword. How about bows? Right, switch to normal arrows and this will work. Ryan, nice. Where could you be? Boys on a horse. Ah! Oh, get your ass up out of there! That was a that was a great shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna take all the credit for that. Wow, I cannot believe I made that shot. And, let me go ahead and take this horse from you real quick. God, sneaking up on horses can be really tedious. But luckily, thanks to my stamina, it's a lot easier to calm them. Okay, this one didn't need to be calmed down. So that's nice. Collect Mighty Bananas and Durian. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is convenient. I can register the horse already. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Hmm? Wait, what? Max Bond already? Oh, usually I only get like 20 on the when I first get them. Name for your horse. Who did I not name? It's one of my friends. Yeah, we'll take it. It's like Pika. <laughs> All right, that boy. Yeah, I love Pika behind. I do like that. That's like, like that's another quality of life feature. Is that if you leave your horse hanging out there to do something, you can just come back to any one of these stables and they'll take care of that. Oh shit! That's a. Is that the same kind of hammer as before? Okay, yeah, it's just a normal iron sledgehammer. Let me see if I have room for that. Nah, like all my other weapons are actually better than this. Five mighty banana meal gives you three times a damn. Twenty extra temp. Oh, are you talking about? I think I I know what those durian are. It's like the spiky fruit. Yeah, they give you like five free hearts of just one of them in a meal. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's crazy. Um, 
20 temporary hearts. God damn. That's broken as all hell. Yeah, I see why people don't invest in hearts in this game. Like, it's the same thing with the inns. They give you hella hearts, some of them. Like, the Zora one gives you, like, three hearts. That's enough not to get one shot, so that's pretty valuable. Man, fuck you. I can I can buy more arrows, even though I'm I'm running low, but that's okay. That's what I'm trying to say. There's an inn nearby. I'm not gonna fucking die. Hell no. I mean, they were on horses. I mean, good luck with that. That's all I'm saying. Right, before I go to the the shrine up there, I'm gonna go buy some arrows and other supplies. I think I'm gonna... I'll go ahead and sleep too, may as well. What you got? Take all that shit. So that's, uh, stealth. Wow, this is like the first time in a while that I've gone under a thousand. I used to have, like, four thousand rupees, but I spent it all on clothes. Like, I just went crazy, bought everything in that fucking town. It was not Kakariko Village, it was the other one. It was, like, Hanton? Where is it? It was around here. Which, I still need to go to Kakariko Village. I just, I just realized I haven't actually gone there yet. Small token of my thanks. Okay. Horses really yeah. like them. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm not, uh... Not yet, because I need to get my good horse. Yeah. Ah. Oh, there he is, okay. And then... Ancient Horse Rumors. Okay, so it's like right here. Oh. Okay, it's not this dude. That's like around... Oh, is it up here? Okay, that's just a pitch. That is just a pitchfork. Okay, I don't think I'm meant to actually get up there. Okay, no, I definitely can. I don't see anything up here. 
The DLC gets you horse gear, portal, Korak mask. Okay, so maybe it's inside? According to this, I'm like right on it, but... Oh, it's this. South of Hyrule Ridge, beneath a cherry blossom tree, at a mountain where, at a mountain where creatures gather, the saddle is at a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. All right, so is that going to tell me the location of, like, is it going to mark it on the map? Nope, I guess it's not going to. Wait, but it's in the book it said a specific destination. Hold on. South of Hyrule Ridge. Okay. Hyrule Ridge. Let's try and find that. Is that in central Hyrule, maybe? Ugh, there's still so much of Hyrule that I haven't, like, mapped out yet. I would guess that it's around here. If this is where it took me for that journal. Hyrule Ridge. What the fuck? Hylia River, Hills of... At a mountain where creatures gather. Shit. God, it probably would be in one of the areas that I haven't mapped. Mountain that glows at night and follow the road so that you're on. So I'm not going to find it on this map is what you're telling me. Mountain that glows at night. So I guess I, I should probably make it night then. I hope it doesn't erase the extra heart by sleeping regularly. Okay, it doesn't. Well, I see the shrine, not much else. Is it like in this area though? Well, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check out the shrine first because I'm one away from getting another stamina bar. Oh, I need to take off my Zora. I forgot to change it out. I was taking extra damage for no reason. This stream is going much better than expected. I think probably what's doing it is the the NVIDIA NVE and C option in OBS. That's probably helping a lot. Take some strain off of the CPU. Metal doors open the way. Okay, so I'm thinking. Alright, pretty simple. Alright, so this is going to be a longer one. Key places in-game are Satori Mountain. It is the mountain that glows and Farron area for food. Is Satori Mountain in the Farron area? Oh, shit. 
Oh, pff. he died real fast. Yeah, the Farron area I've noticed has really nice food. Like that, that one fruit that we were talking about before, the Durin fruit. Traveler's Bow. Attack of four. Okay, so that's some kind of modification on it. Uh... This one has a modification too. Oh wait, so that's not like on top of what it already is stated to have. So it's total 9, it's not 9 plus 4. Because I'm seeing this, and then this is the same bow, but it's got 10. And this is like 13, but it's says plus 3, so... So I'm thinking my other bow was better anyway, because this already had 9. Plus it has, it's faster, that's the thing with that one. Oh wait, this one's a little bit tougher, eh? Let's give this a shot. So I can use my shield. Ah, I tried to time it just right. Satori is central to the northeastern area of the Great Plateau. Alright, thank you. Good to know. Northwestern area of Great Plateau. Okay, so that's a good guiding point. We'll go there right after this. Hold on, okay. I'm trying to figure this out. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe, hold on. Can I open them the opposite way? Okay, it doesn't seem like it. Ah, oh, I can't grab onto that ledge, that's super annoying. So then... Oh, you know what? Those blocks are kind of suspicious. Okay, but now what? I, I guess... Oh! Ha 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 ha! Ho ho ho! Clever girl. Except, actually first I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to move it over here first, but I can do that... Right now. Do I reach? I don't reach. Fuck. That almost went really poorly. We good now? Alright. Genius. Alright, so I guess I just have to climb these? Uh... The bombs seem to like move them. Okay, never mind. No, it definitely did. I think now I can climb them. Nope. 
Not quite yet. Oh, wait. Solid. Uh, we'll just put it here for now because we're going to glide over there anyway. So Tori Mountain has a shrine and almost all the stuff to upgrade your gear. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to go there right after this then. If I can get this... Uh... Oh, don't tell me I have to get like both of them in order to make this work. Never seen that done this way. What, the... Are you talking about the... Ah, oh, come on! Are you talking about the chest? How is it supposed to be the done? I'm curious. I got the feeling that's not how you're supposed to do it either, but... Breath of the Wild is a flexible game. They all kind of say more or less the same thing, so we're going to skip all this shit. Nice and spirit orb. You know something I'm really happy about? Uh, because OBS has the window capture feature. You guys are not seeing the activate windows <laughs> watermark at the very like bottom right corner. All right, so so northwest of Central Hyrule, this is Hy Hyrule Field. It's not this. It's not Mount. Ah, this is a Wind Waker reference. It has to be. Probably is. Are you talking about like this area or is it actually in Central Hyrule? Use the door at an angle or a mag. Oh, I see. Yeah, that does make sense. So this is Central Hyrule right here. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably like in this area, which I do have a warp point. Yeah, no, that's not west, that's east. First, I'm gonna go to. This is just the closest like shrine thing. Yeah, that that area. I I thought so. We're gonna go get our stamina first. I may as well because I have a war point over there anyway. as well use this. I did run into another one of those like uh, Hylia statues somewhere but I don't think I can warp to it but I actually don't even remember where it was. I don't know. To me, even though it is really close to the shrine of Res uh, the shrine of resurrection, it struck me as kind of odd that you cannot fast travel to the temple of time of all places. Because especially, yeah, especially because at the beginning of the game, oh, what just happened? Oh, are we are we experiencing the first the first crash of the <laughs> oh of the up yep, there? It fucking is. <laughs> it was gonna happen so sooner or later. 
Oh well. Ah, there it is. We're probably just gonna have to start from the Shrine of Resurre Resurrection. Resurrection. Fuck. I cannot speak. Every town has a statue. Ah, that's right. Yeah, the other town had it too. Uh, so we're just gonna do this. So I guess you guys are just gonna have to go through this with me. The loading the shaders. Oh, you know what? I should probably check if I'm up in the draft while I'm doing this. Nah, probably not. I would have been tagged by now. Uh, so how far into the stream did that happen? Let me just check up on that. So it took about an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Oh, there is no capture card. This is a uh, CEMU. It's on. We're playing on PC. The best system. I mean, I considered shelling out three hundred bucks for the for the Switch, or just a Wii U, a cheap Wii U for now. If I was gonna buy a Wii U for Zelda, I would just get a Switch because of Fire Emblem. But then I figured, like, with the $300, like, I spent $250 just upgrading my processor and motherboard, specifically for stuff like this, streaming and emulating. Um, and I spent less money doing that upgrade than going out and buying a Switch on top of having to buy Breath of the Wild on top of that. Although I guess I, I guess technically it was uh, $350 because I also had to get new RAM. I got the uh, a fucking DDR4 RAM, which is hella expensive. So, frame rates are going to be shaky this first, like, minute of gameplay or so, just because I guess that's how, that's how CEMU is. It takes a while to just really get going. But after that, we're going to be just like before. Uh, let's see if anybody sniped me in the, the UBL draft. Oh, it hasn't moved at all. Guess that nigga went to sleep. Okay, no, we didn't crash. <laughs> Thank. Thank the Lord for that. There we go. Yeah, the first the first loading screen is always especially slow. That's why I always uh start the recording and or stream in the middle of a uh, gameplay. But, I guess it is what has to be done sometimes. And I guess the downside of uh, emulating as opposed to just getting the Switch. Okay, there it is. And it's probably not helping the fact that, I mean, it is slow even when I'm not streaming, but now that I am streaming, that was a really slow startup. And, oh, are we all the way back here? Oh, wait, no, no, okay, no. We're, um, we are as intended. Like I said, the autosave function is pretty stellar in this game. Especially coming off of, like, the last game that I was playing before starting Breath of the Wild was Knights of the Old Republic, specifically Knights of the Old Republic 2. And those games, their autosaves are fucking trash. Like, you may as well just use manual save for everything because the time between autosaves and those games is ridiculous. You will lose 
hours potentially of gameplay if you die and you do not manual save. All oh, right, Blood Moon. Goodbye. Yeah, like I said, the first minute or so, frame rate's gonna be kind of, kind of, ooh, kind of shaky. But I think we're starting to get back to normal. Give me the power, the strength. Ah, oh, that's what I like to fucking see. So now, yeah, this should be about the. This should be a more or less. Uh, Decent starting point for finding. Let me just scroll up and see what this dude said. Satori Mountain. Alright. Doom and Breath of the Wild are the only games that run smooth on underpowered Switch. Doom, huh? I guess it must have been just coded well. But yeah, Switch is underpowered. I mean, that's why. Like I said. I'm hard pressed to go out and shell out for one. When it's not even more powerful than, like, the Xbox One or PS4. Still. Okay, I'm going the wrong. I think this way is a little bit more accurate to where. Actually, I'm almost tempted to just start from here and kind of work my way back. Oh, right, I never did activate this tower. Plus, yeah, there's a, a stable here, so I'm going to go here instead. Get my horse. And then just work my way back. Activate the tower. Yeah, I think I, I need to do that. Let me just see how OBS is doing. Well, I guess I really don't need to even do that because I'm watching the stream anyway. Oh boy, frames are getting a little... Frames are still low, but... Like I said, that will go away with time. Oh God, it's still raining, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't use bomb arrows in this shit. I don't think I can cook under these conditions either, because there's no fire. I guess I may as well see if you're selling. Yeah, you can never have enough arrows. I'm actually running kind of low on rupees. 500 is not enough. Rain drops frame rates. Yeah, that's kind of the case in... Uh, it reminds me a whole lot of Pokemon Reborn. Not so much now, but like in the... Uh, Back in the day, like episode 10, 11, 12 of Pokemon Reborn, especially Thunderstorms, lagged the game like crazy. That shit was crazy. Oh. We'll take Knight because... Actually, yeah, Knight's good here because if the mountain is glowing... And we'll be able to see that. Oh. 
And it is no longer raining. What in the fuck is that monstrosity? <laughs> I'm assuming there's some way to get to that. It kind of reminds me of that one Super Mario Sunshine level, the fucking Sandbird. The dread of all speedruns. Yeah. Take course. I'll right, we'll take you. Knight, go to Tall Mountain and look around. Oh. Oh. All right. I was thinking more I should go to the tower of this area in order to be able to see all the landmarks. Except I forgot exactly where that was. The tower that we just saw over there was for the next little area. The next region, so to speak. Is that even the... That might be the tower we're looking for. Oh right, this uh, I think the strength might determine how steep they can go, like, this ain't like Skyrim where you can just glitch your way up of, up mountains with horses. Oh shit. Hey, stop, hey! Uh, uh. I did nothing. I really love how satisfying... You might be on Satori Mountain right now, okay. Yeah, because I, I was kind of thinking that because I'm seeing monsters and it did say in the journal. I have enough arrows for this now. Shit! I didn't I didn't manage that well at all. Damn, why there's so many of these? Kill this one first. I got hella lucky there. Wait, wait. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh shit. Okay, I actually got hit there. Fuck. Sure, we'll use this. Whatever. Oh shit, they actually have they have that Dark Souls poise. Shit, I don't have that many supplies. I'm just not realizing this. This dude's been annoying as all hell. Ah, 
fuck this bow. That did so much damage. Damn! Yo, I don't think I have the supplies to... If this place is going to have more monsters, I cannot make any mistakes. There's more of them in here. Damn. I just barely avoided that, too. I might have to I might have to get kind of stealthy. Actually, nah, fuck that. If there's if this is the last one, I may as well just take him out. I've got no food though. I've got like some potions, maybe like one more that actually restores health, but that might be it. So of course we do the safety save as- oh, That's a clean- okay. That's a clean sword. This is probably worse than... Because this is a single-handed weapon, so... It's probably more efficient to just have that. Oh, it's raining, though. That's... <laughs> that's shitty as all hell. I'm not gonna be able to climb this shit. Luckily, there seems to be a lot of places where I can recover stamina. Ah, uh, like, see? That's gonna be a problem. This is the top of the mountain. What's going, what's going on? I see the glow. Okay, so obviously maybe this wasn't it. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh I see the glow. I think I'm starting to understand what this man is talking about. Save the save. Is this my cue to bomb, maybe? Oh shit, wait. I was a, I was so close to detonating that shit. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna look around. The clubs are good for breaking this stuff, so... May as well. Oh, monsters, okay. Wait, or am I just tripping? That's... Okay, no, there's nothing there. I <laughs> I was going crazy for a second. I'm gonna try this one more time. See if that possibly affects the glow. Because it looks kind of like a crater, doesn't it? Or something that can be... Uh... Actually, I'm gonna... Right. Worth a shot, but nah. It just kind of looked resembled something that could be blown up. Oh shit, what is that? It's like an arena. Uh, 
these guys ain't shit. This will actually be useful for upgrading with the uh, the great fairy. All right. Well, I'll keep it. I'll keep this point in mind. Can I use this to like pro propel myself? Okay. Seems like I can. Um. Let us try. I see a chest down here. And I have the Zoro armor to get back up. In fact, I'm going to equip it right now. Yes, I definitely see a chest right there. Can I open chests while I'm like submerged like this? It doesn't seem like I can. Hey! Oh, don't tell me. Am I gonna have to like move this shit? Okay, fuck that. I want to go back up before I drown. Well, I have potions that restore stamina, actually. So I'm probably not going to drown here. I'm more curious about that fucking... Where was it? This, over here. And that, particularly. Yeah, we're going to check that out right now. And there is a tower, so I may as well start heading in this direction. More rain. Great. Thundra Plateau. Oh shit, right. I need to... Wait a minute, is it my shield? Might be. What, what is it now? What is attracting lightning? I, is it my bow? Well, it might be. Okay. Nice. I present you with a trial. Uh oh, I don't, I don't like the sound of that. When the four spirits have been settled in the proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. Is that the, uh,. The four beasts. What the fuck is this? Maybe those are the four spirits that they're talking about? I only see that one though. Huh? Oh, that's not useful to me. Oh, I see. I see another one of those weird orbs over there. There's four of those little, like, yeah. So that could be what that voice is talking about. No, eh. Fuck. <laughs> Am I in the right place? Uh, there's one person like watching the stream that has been telling me all this. Is this something completely different or is this the DLC content? Was not the best throw. How do I get this up there, though? That's the question. Maybe I can use stasis and just hit it a bunch of times. That was my first thought, and then because that would launch it in, into the air. Aha! I can do that.
Look around, that's a rubber armor piece. Damn, that wasn't enough, huh? Alright, so that wasn't enough. Maybe I need a little bit more element. I should have just done it from there. Fuck. I see another one. I might just uh, use stasis for all of them to get them over the... Uh, get them over that wall. This is probably a decent spot to do that. That should, that should clear it easily. What? Oh, come on. Shit. That didn't... <laughs> Alright, I gotta hit that shit to its max. I've been really underestimating. I've been overestimating how far that shit will travel with stasis. So I have to really wail on it, then, for that to work. Thank you! Jesus! I may as well hit the other ones while I'm at it. Look around, there's a rubber armor piece. Is it like inside that little arena? Stop raining, damn it! Are you kidding me? I'm not even gonna be able to get up there while it's like that. Can I like paraglide off of somewhere? How do I even get back into that? Uh, man, I suppose I could climb in. This is where this comes in handy. All right, that's where that's where it ended up. I'm keeping an eye out for the the rubber armor piece he's mentioning. Holy shit. Oh right, the claymore is probably metal, so that's why. Looking for that last one. So what color is the last one? Green. Man, I hope it's not too far out. Hmm, I know what I can do. I can like hop onto this and then... Fuck! Me! No! Hey! Ugh. That is so frustrating. Why is this a thing? Like, I don't see how... Is it just when I jump? No, okay. I made it. But I was thinking I can, like, paraglide over there so I don't have to actually climb as much. Well, I can actually... I can also just use stamina potions. Yeah, because this is probably not going to help me any. Yeah, pff, that didn't help at all. 
The mountain only glows about 60% of the time. You can spot the aura from anywhere. Can I, like, just wait until there's no more rain? What the fuck? Like, I don't even see how I can do this with the rain up. Or are there, like, certain areas where it always rains no matter if, no matter what? Yeah, even if I'm not jumping, it'll still, like... Man, fuck you. Ooh, I looks like I can uh I can definitely bomb that. Oh, another one of these fuckers. <laughs> Isn't there supposed to be like three hundred of these? Yeah, I'm not taking the time nah. Nah, <laughs> nah, son. Miss me with that, man. Are you kidding me? Miss me with that bullshit. 300 Korok seeds. Every Zelda game has a thing like that, where it's like, oh, gather the 100 golden spiders. Like, nah. Son. I'm not about that. <laughs> 900. Fuck me. No. Never in my life. Hey, go ahead and spoil me. What do I even get? What do you get for getting all 900? I'm really genuinely curious. Do you just become invincible at that point? It has to be. Just activates god mode to get your sword beams with the master sword. Kind of like, I think that's a thing in like Skyward Sword where you have to beat the game twice to have like infinite sword beams. Like you don't even have to charge that shit up anymore. You just, <laughs> you just swing. And it's like the, a link to the past. Golden's herd. <laughs> Sorry, you had to go. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that my... These things won't go away if I, like, leave, right? Not that it's too much trouble to get them back in place, but... Just saying. Alright, I'm not seeing any glowing anymore. Can't be a good sign. Let me just check if my... What this quest is classified as. Trial of Thunder. Okay, it seems like just a normal thing. Oh, Shrine Quests. Okay. That's what this is. Seriously, like it has a golden turn. Okay, is that. The, oh my god. I think I'll look that up on my own, see what the specifics of that is, but yeah. That, is, that does not sound worth it. That's almost like making fun of you. So, if that's a shrine quest, I guess that doesn't have to do with the DLC. Maybe I, I, I could even, like, revert back to the save where I'm, like, on top of the... Oh, no, I, I saved already. Damn it. I have an autosave, though, where I'm back on top of that mountain. I can go back to... Actually, no. Fuck that. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm... I have delayed this long enough. I'm going to go to that tower over there and get all the locations. I feel like that would be helpful. 380 gets you max slots. What, for like items and shit? That actually sounds helpful. But that also implies that there's other methods of doing this.
Damn, where, where did I leave my horse? Poor thing is all the way over there. Weapons, shields, bows. Okay. That's what I thought when you said max slots. So are there other methods of getting additional slots? Because that's a problem I've been running into. I don't feel like I have enough slots for the amount of weapons that I'm receiving. Particularly like shields. I can only get four. Four shields and that's it. Oh shit, there's monsters everywhere. Yeah, this bow is good enough. I can draw them in like one at a time. Oh, fuck. Many weapons left. Are you kidding me? Nope, only Clorox. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so I guess I maybe I will get some of them. Damn, actually, I I died to one shot. Oh, probably because it's like a higher tier enemy. Probably has more strength. Fuck. So I guess I'm just gonna have to be aggressive. I'll drink this just in case. Oh, again! <laughs> I'm so shit! I probably can't even block that either. Oh, I, I wasn't blocking because I had a... Okay, I'm gonna stop switching to that two-handed weapon because that means I cannot block. Hey, you know what? I'm done playing games. Get your ass out of here. I'm gonna... Fuck you. Ah! Oh! I, for... I keep forgetting. I can't use that in the rain. Another reason to hate that shit. Alright, just get rid of that guy quickly. I'm gonna save my. Oh, more shock arrows. Nice. I'm gonna save my ice arrows just in case I need them for a shrine or something. Oh, those are not Lizolfos. Those are. Those are Poe's. I actually made that shot. Wow. Oh, I also have, like, weaker armor than I usually have. Uh, Zora armor will come in handy here, though. Wait, does that does that make me more weak to electric? Hold on. It will give you the ability. Okay, it doesn't say that. That would be something. It would make sense, but I don't feel like that's what it is. Okay, this is something that's gonna come in handy because I need swift one-handed weaponry. <sighs> Fuck off. Are you for real? I dropped all my shit. Okay. I have to stop, like, getting close to them because they can still hit me from under. I think I'll just use my bow. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, wait. I need to drop something to get that. They seem to be particularly vulnerable to bows, so I'll just keep doing that. Mm. I'm getting angry. Especially because I dropped my bow! No! That's not- no, you're not gonna do this to me. Fuck you. Seriously. 
Damn. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not doing any damage to this boy. What bow am I even using? I'm using a strong ass bow. Huh. I guess they're just that powerful, huh? That's a cool spear, though. I kind of want that. I really hope I can take that spear while I'm swimming. Oh, this boy had a bow. Wait, no, that's a spear. Never mind. Thunder spear. Hey, okay, I kind of like the sound of that. Oh, I can't drop weapons though. I'm in the water. Let me get the shit out of here. Yellow Lizalfo's tail. Nice. Got the shot in while it was broken. That does more damage, obviously. Well, not obviously. I guess if you don't play this game, you won't. You wouldn't know that. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> this piece of shit was bobbing and weaving. I cannot believe this. Do I want to go ahead and just kill all of them? I don't really feel like it, honestly. I kind of want to just get this tower over with. Okay, thankfully, it doesn't seem like the rain affects climbing this thing. Although I think I'm consuming more stamina than usual. It kind of seems that way. I don't think I'm... It kind of seems to me like I'm losing way more stamina than usual. Yeah, like, holy shit. It's the final stretch, though. Wait, no. It's, uh... Clean. How long have we been streaming for? It's probably been a good like two hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's fine though. I remember when I did my Twilight Princess stuff. I keep saying it, but yeah, that shit was like four hours each time. I really need to um, find someone to sell like the ancient gears and stuff to. Unless that's something that's really important and useful. I've been waiting on selling that for a while. Regional map extracted. So let's see what we got. This was Mount Roam. So that wasn't it. I feel like that's exactly... This is where we were, more or less. And this is Thundra Plateau. This is Satori Mountain right here. The mystery is solved, more or less. If I can just get back to my horse and travel down here, more or less. I could just go here as well. I can just come back. So I kind of feel like going back here, getting my horse, and then just following the trail. I can even just pin this right here. That would be helpful indeed. <sighs> Do I want to bother with this area right now? Because obviously I haven't done any. I haven't done everything here. 
<laughs> the study of Birdmen. Are we talking like the Rito clan from Wind Waker? Observe Birdmen in their natural habitat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Man, crazy as hell. I want to see how far you can glide. I'm kind of busy. I'm compensated. I like the sound of that. I fuck off. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'll do this. I'll do this later. I'll remember to do this. Maybe. The whole mountain has mushrooms, keys, durians, apples, herbs. Well, I can find durians in Farron Woods as well. Are you talking about Satori Mountain or the mountain we were just at? I may as well rest up as well. Maybe. I don't think he'd have arrows again this soon, but may as well check. Can never have too much arrows. Too many arrows. Oh, I'm sold out. Okay. I want to get it to stop fucking raining, and I want to get my additional heart. So, Tori, okay. Okay, I'm pretty good on shields. Food is what I need. I haven't cooked in a while. Now, like, I have this meat right here. And I have ingredients for elixirs, like toads and shit. Um, I wasn't gonna spend too much time on that, just for the sake of... It's like Costco one-stop shop. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, I wasn't gonna spend time on that, just because I feel like it's... It's important to get things moving. Especially with all the downtime we've already had, but fuck it. I guess I'll, I'll do some cooking while I can. Let's see, where's my salt? Oh, there it is. And... Am I gonna use an apple? No, I'm gonna use spicy pepper. Full recovery. Oh, this is really good. Three hearts. I'll take that. Well, that's kind of... <laughs> that's a little bit overkill for me. Do I have any more salt? I do. That's really nice, too. We'll use all the food first and then get to the, uh, get to the rest. I was hoping to get... Oh, I forgot to integrate more Mighty Thistle. Yeah. I wanted to get some of the attack benefits. Maybe I still can. Maybe. Any more food? Okay, that's for elixirs. Steamed fish, okay. Still no attack boost, I'm for...
Yeah, it does say it's when cooked into a dish. Any more food? Oh, I have this milk. I guess I'll, <laughs> whatever, I'll just add it. This is probably not going to turn out well. Oh, okay, it did. Can this be used in elixirs? Doesn't say it can. So I'm gonna just play it safe. It boosts your stamina by beyond its limit. I'm not gonna risk it by using it here yet. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm just. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time for the elixirs. Speed boost. Temporarily increase your maximum hearts. I like the sound of that. Now let's mix it in with uh, Moblin Horn, Lionel Hoof. I think we're fine like this. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Was that the only toad I had like that? I want to make sure I use all of my my ingredients while I'm at it. Sneaky elixir, okay. Try this. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but probably disgusting. Yep, that's what I thought. That's the first failure we have this cooking session, so I consider that a success. More stealth. Eh, who knows? That may come in handy. I think I might have run out of ingredients to use. Oh, I forgot the goat butter. Fuck. When I was cooking actual dishes before. Anything else I can use? I got these butterflies, but there's like 18 of them. I'm not going to cook all of them. Not right now. That'll take up way too much time. And I believe I... What I cooked up here is probably enough to last me a good while. That's some quality dishes. So that was boring and time consuming, but now we will get on with the uh, with Satori Mountain. Again, very convenient that we can just get our horse like this. Instead of having to go chase after it. So yeah, we can just follow the road and get there. Uh, how are we on gear? We're pretty okay. Yeah, shields are fine. Yeah. And I have arrows for days and bows for days. Yeah, so we're we are stocked up, my boy. We are balling. We're strapped. 
Okay, it's gonna be a while before we get to the crossroad that we can just easily follow. It's coming up. I think we'll break off a little bit here. Oh fuck. Come on. Hey! Okay, that's what happens when you... Push them too far. There's the bridge across the river, so we're pretty close to our destination. What the fuck is this music? For a second, I thought that was a monster, but it doesn't look, it does not look like it. Ah, he didn't turn in time. That's annoying. That seems to be it right there. Satori Mountain. And Pogo Dog said that the horse here is under the cherry blossom tree. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for that. It should be pretty easy to spot. Uh, cherry blossom tree, that's very Japanese. So I'm not particularly surprised to see that in this game in some form. gonna save for safety's sake. Who knows what we're gonna find on this mountain. Shrine nearby, okay. Slow down for a second, see what's... Looking for the cherry blossom tree. <laughs> Meh. Weak ass weapon. Alright, let's head on out. Or head up higher, rather. Also keeping an eye out for fruits and stuff. Just turn faster. You... <laughs> ah, there's the cherry blossom tree. Clean, clean. Let's get it. Under a cat, carrots. Ok, 
tail I'm seeing so far as carrots. Uh, maybe it's like down here somewhere. Party truffle. Silent Princess. Oh, an NPC mentioned this. But that's like re that's related to like another quest. The shit keeps telling me there's a shrine nearby, so maybe it's like a little bit down below. Use magnets. Aha, I see you. Oh wait, it was right in front of my nose. It was like... Still get it like this, right? Yep. Ancient bridle. A mysterious bridle made with forgotten ancient technology, equipped with a horse. This will max. Oh shit. Oh no. Will this activate immediately upon. Hey, where are you running? What is going on? Hey, wait. How get back here, you piece of shit. What's going on? Oh, don't tell me I have to, like, sneak up and. This piece of shit horse. It did say that its temperament was wild. Was that the only thing up here, or was there more? Like, besides the fruits and shit. Okay, so I probably have to, like, re-register the horse in order to get that to work. Yeah, probably. Mog Latin Shrine. We'll do the shrine, get some more goodies from this mountain. I think that might be the end of the stream. It's getting really late out here. And so I can work on uploading this. Saint Swing. I don't like the sound of this. But I can definitely... Can I use stasis on that? That sounds really useful as well. So I don't have to deal with... Um, having to time that. The other horse gear lets you whistle. Okay, so there's another thing in here that we have to find. Hey! No! Ah! <laughs> Fuck. I'm out. Good luck. Yeah, thanks for coming by. It's not moving anymore, huh? Maybe I can use the magnet to... Nope. Uh, that's not my intention. Not that way. No! No! Oh no. This is bad. I didn't even move it, huh? You know, maybe I'm not supposed to do it this way. Yeah, I have the feeling that's not how- oh, fuck. Uh, Alright, I'm not supposed to do it that way. I'm probably just supposed to time it and uh, get the swing to work that way, but it doesn't even seem like it's doing that anymore. Alright, I'll use the magnet. And uh, get it to swing again. Okay, that's not working. Help! Huck. Huck. 
Okay, that worked well enough. I almost fell again. That would have been pretty bad. Another trash weapon. Okay, I kind of see what I'm supposed to do here. Let me just... Hmm, it doesn't seem like... I can pull it far enough to where to actually... Maybe... Let's see if I can pull this. Maybe that'll have more of an impact. I can just do it one at a time like this, actually. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck me. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Forest Dweller's Bow. That's actually not a bad bow, but it's not as good as the shit I do have. No! Oh my god! What I get the feeling that was about to happen. Where does that even put me? That shit was about to hit me again, too. Might as well eat this. Whatever. How the fuck? I don't even... I mean, I guess this is a magnetism shrine. It's focused on that, but I really don't understand what I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe stasis. Oh, you know what? I can. Can I pull that towards me? Maybe. Yeah. There we go. But it moves itself towards that way. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that chest right now. Are you kidding me? Man, I'm just gonna use fire arrows, fuck that. Yup, there it is. Ah. Motherfucker. And there it is. There it is. Ba -ba -da -da. That was a more like that was a really long shrine, I feel like. For a puzzle shrine? I had like three different puzzles in there. So now we're back out here. Where is my horse? It says he's nearby. 
Oh, that's probably because I glided down here. So, I'm going to keep exploring this area. Okay. Skull Bakublins. Yeah, I'm going to just keep exploring a little bit because he said that there was another piece of gear for the horse. And yeah, he told I remember that uh, it was supposed to be that there's like a whistle that you can use to uh, call the horse from any location, which is kind of clean. So I'm going to check again with magnetism because it's all it also kind of works like a... Kind of like infrared, a little bit. I feel like... Oh, fuck off. Or maybe it's in a different location altogether, which would be really annoying. One is supposedly under a cherry blossom tree, okay, and the other is at a spring where a horse spirit resides. Okay, so I guess it probably is. It's somewhere else. A spring where a horse spirit resides. Man, I'm gonna find that on my own time. I feel like the saddle was more important than the, uh, the whistle, though, because with the whistle, like, you can just fast travel to a stable and call your horse that way anyway. So, the bridle, or the saddle thing, whatever, was definitely more important to get first. So we found the ultimate horse gear, and we'll continue to get the DLC armors and stuff as we go along and explore Hyrule without doing the story. <laughs> we were this close to actually getting story done with the, uh, the Zora's domain stuff, but then we were like, "Fuck that! Let's get some, let's get some kick-ass gear instead." And I'll also look around for like additional fruits and stuff that are supposed to be on this mountain. Maybe over there in that little plateau. Who knows? Does this tree have anything? I haven't actually seen any fruits on, on this mountain yet. Nothing here. I see uh, mushrooms. That's about it, though. Oh, there's a bunch of, like, skeletal lizolfos. So, you already know we're about that safety save. Oh, fuck. Hey, I'm not about to end this on an L. That's not what's about to happen. Okay, this dude needs to go. Like, are you kidding me? Thank you, Jesus. Nauseous as all hell. Actually, I'm, I'm going to take this instead. What was even here, though? There's a lot of enemies for... Ooh. Are these just apples? <laughs> okay, I'll take... We take those. That's just nothing but free recovery items. Yeah, I think I'm going to end this end the stream here because and next time we might do actual story stuff with the divine beasts and the Zora's domain so off screen I will collect all of these goodies and see if I can find any more of the DLC stuff that 
apparently is not going to be too useful once I'm already done with the game. Which is a tad bit annoying. Um, though, I, though I did hear that the second DLC is more like endgame oriented. So, yeah. Thank you to everybody who came out, and I will see you guys next time.